Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's the girl Napsharine here, and I'm going to show you how I do the skeleton face today. So normally, just like any other makeup, you're going to want to start with putting on a primer on your face to protect the, your pores from like excess makeup, and also to have a nice uh, matte clean base. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I use a concealer that is really really close to my skin tone and I'm just going to outline my eyebrow first with the concealer and I'm going to cover up a bit of the end of my eyebrows just so I can over exaggerate them just a little bit so I start off with the concealer you see I didn't rub it in all the way so here I am I'm going to go start in with my eyebrows with a nice pencil I just use the brown pencil after I'm done with my eyebrows I go in with the concealer again and just go ahead and rub it in with an, an angle brush and go ahead and make sure you conceal all of the you know the areas around the eyebrow just to make it pop a little bit more Next, I'm going to go in with an eye, um, not eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with a foundation. So what I did here was, since I'm doing a skeleton mask, I'm going to use two different eyeshadows. I mean, I'm going to use two different foundations mixed together um, just to make my skin complexion look a little bit lighter. Because, you know, I'm, it's, a, it's Halloween. It's meant to look a little scary, a little pale-like. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to use regular, your regular color, that's fine also. But I decided to... Um, go for a grayish look on my skin so I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in with my brush um, a foundation brush just buff it on out make sure it's even nice and even all over your face after that what I'm using to put on my face I'm actually using face paint never used my first time using it um, just take the foundation brush and what I did was I painted my face from my um, cheekbone down white and you also want to use that paint across your nose in that same area so you want to cover everything that includes your lips everything and what I had to learn because you're going to see I'm going to try to buff this out with a brush is face paint it's not like regular makeup then it's really cheap face paint it's like 90 cent a tube or whatever or a package of five so what you need to do is let this face paint sit and then go back in and let it dry a little bit then go back in and put another layer on top because I really just messed it up there so after you're nice and painted you're gonna want to go in with a black paint or you can use a black liquid eyeliner I'm using the black face paint and I'm just gonna outline everything that's white at the moment you can take a smaller brush that's a um I want to say it's like a chisel brush. It's like an eyeshadow brush or something. I'm not sure what type of brush that is. Also, I really don't know what products I'm using. This is like a year old. I never got to post it. And so, yeah. You want to go in and paint that little triangle on your nose. What that does is it gives that hollow effect when your nose is, you know, you see the skeleton nose and the, you see the hollow nose toward the middle. I'm just brightening it up a bit. Outline that white with black. Now it's time to have the jawline, jawline drew in. And it helps if you suck your cheeks in, but I couldn't do that because my paint was super dry. So just kind of just um, draw it in. If you mess up, you just go and erase it with white paint and try to redo it. You're going to see me do that pretty a whole lot in this video. It's like a little curvature. You gotta feel out where your bone is in your face. And then you're gonna go straight across, color some of the inside of your lip, and go straight across. Now we're gonna start drawing our teeth. You wanna try to line it up or see, get some realistic marks of where teeth would be. And just draw straight lines that kinda look like stitchings. And you wanna match up the top and the bottom. After you draw those lines in, I went ahead and um, had the outline in, 
but you're going to want to draw little sprouts out and what that does is it it gives that round shape so it can and it starts looking 3D-ish and uh, it'll start looking more like teeth if that makes sense. Uh, I'll let you see in a second. I'm going to actually go in and darken uh, these lines up in a bit and make them a little bit bolder and then uh, add the little uh -huh. sprouts on the outside of it. Uh -huh. And what I did is I overdrew over my lips. You can extend it as long as you would like. It doesn't matter. So right here, um, with those little sprouts I drew, it's like little V's on the ends of the teeth. I'm going to go in and um, bold it up some more. I have a little small concealer brush. And I'm using a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to um, use the eyeshadow to make those little sprouts. And I'm actually going to go in and you, what you want to do is connect all of that together. Uh -huh. And then use that same black eyeshadow to put a shadow around your entire uh -huh. mouth to make uh -huh. it look more sunken in, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you guys... Uh -huh. I have bad news. I didn't get to um, record everything that I did. Uh, so, I'll explain it to you uh, later. What I'm doing here now is I'm outlining uh -huh. anything that's black. I'm going ahead in with the black eyeshadow. Uh, uh, I um, uh -huh. outlined the edges of my face. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go in and put the black eyeshadow. You're going to kind of make it look a little grayish uh -huh. on the inside. Just put that black eyeshadow uh -huh. inside the hollow marks of uh -huh. the cheekbones. You want to start off with a really, really dark line and then just pull uh -huh. the rest down and try to just, you know, uh -huh. Make it fade a little bit. Now right here is where the video is going to uh, cut off. I actually went in and I drew in a um, scar uh, on my head. Um, before that though, you want to uh, go ahead. I made it since I'm half skeleton. It's like my face is broken off. So uh -huh. what you want to do is you want to go in with a red uh, uh -huh. pencil. So I went in with a red pencil along the black line. And I also went in with a really, really dark purple uh -huh. lipstick. And I blended all of that together. Uh -huh. And it was really, really nice. And I did the same thing uh -huh. for my scar. I put a little white in there to make it look like scar tissue. And this is the final uh -huh. result. I really uh -huh. wish I could have got that in, but apparently my iPad had uh -huh. ran out of space. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm uh -huh. looking forward to doing some more Halloween looks. Hope uh -huh. you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what uh -huh. you want to see next. Thanks. Snapchat out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.